Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. Today we're just going in for a regular old Eden run and we've started with Chaos as well as the Friend Folio, Fiend Folio book, whatever, you want hell, whatever the hell you want to call it. But, tears up off the bat and Chaos to start is an interesting concept. I do love myself a bit of Chaos. I do love myself a bit of Chaos, so Chaos off the bat is intriguing to me. I don't know why I didn't put this, like, right next to the door here. Then I could have used it to escape. Ooh, we get cyst in here there, though. Um, although... How does this work? Bomb this. I think I know how this works. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah! Hurst. Um, so I think I just do this right? Yeah, there you go. There you go. We also got a trinket out of that, too, which is kind of nice. Okay, not too bad. Come on, my minions. Come along, come along. But yeah, having treasure maps pretty decent. Cyst so that we do full damage on our fair shot in a room is good. But yeah, I haven't done a Chaos run in a while, especially not when I start with Chaos. I haven't had an Eden run starting with Chaos in quite some time, so I'm intrigued to see how this goes. But yeah, having 10 times damage on our first tier is pretty good. We can use our fo folio thing here to uh, summon friends that will hurt things for us. This is actually kind of a new one here. I've not seen that before. Normally it spawns a boss, right? That is definitely new to me. We've definitely started with unfortunately low stats here, which I'm a little sad about. But we'll hope that it's not too bad. And, dude, that look penny's pretty nice. That's a pretty good item to get in the shop, I gotta say. I mean, I'd very much like to get my hands on that, but who knows if that's going to be plausible. Who knows? I, I suspect not very. We did get our little trinket here as well, helping us, which is nice. A bomb there's pretty good. Uh... Debatable whether I want to look for secret room or not. If I hadn't got hit so much, I could probably use my uh, donation machine, blood donation machine, a little bit more. But sadly, I was hit quite a lot because I'm a bit of a silly billy. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But yeah, as for the question of the day, what game are you guys playing at the minute? What's what's something that's that's keeping your attention? What's something new that you might be looking forward to? Ooh, okay, okay. This this could be nice. This could be nice. Damn it. The fires don't give us extra drops, though, do they? Secret room or secret room? Where might you be? Where might you be? Now, this is a room I do not like the look of at all. Okay, actually, that's not too bad. You can kind of push him purposely onto the spikes there. That's what that's for, I see. That's not so bad. Right. Okay, secret room. It's not there. It's probably in between our shop and our other room right here, isn't it? I'm going to suspect that's the case by the looks of it. Yeah, it very much looks to be. Okay. No money, but we can do this. And we got two very good things there. Lovely. Looks like we're not going to quite get enough money, though, which is a shame. Uh, unless our boss gives us a healing item, then we can donate some HP, so... Let's hope for that outcome right now. Um, I mean, first of all, we've got to hope we can survive our boss. But I'm very happy with Small Rock there. That doesn't get re-rolled by Chaos at all, which is rather nice for us. Let's jump in and pop this and see if we can get, like, an instant kill on him. Honestly, Laser Boy, you're not doing as much as I would have hoped. You keep aiming for the goddamn flies. Aim for the boss, man. Aim for the boss. You were... You were utterly useless. <laughs> He just aimed for all the goddamn flies. That's just silly. Okay, we got him. Hey, there's a heart there. That's good. Oh, what the hell? Why did that happen? Oh, damn. We got error slots. Holy... We got error slots. What a crazy item to get from the boss. Okay, okay. Um, right, error slots is really difficult. So, so, basically the way this works, we'll actually put it down again and read it. So, basically above our head, there's going to be like a little list of three numbers, and they each rotate between numbers. Each slot cycles faster and faster. Once you lock in the combinations, you get that item ID. There is one particular item, I'm actually going to go and have a look, that's really, I wouldn't say easy to get, but fairly easy to get, that's very, very good. And we're going to see if we can make that work. So let's go to deadgod.ru, which is like the best dead god site right now. Um, wait for it to load. And is it going to load properly? 
God damn, it's taking forever to load. Right, one second. Let's let's wait for this to do its thing. And then we can actually potentially have a little look see here at um getting one of the items that's pretty good. So we need we need uh item IDs that are sequential, so like a one, two, three sort of thing. Uh so let's have a look what's on one, two, three to start with. I can't remember which one it is that's really good. On one, two, three. We've got Monster Man Wells, so that's no good. So what about 234? 23 I I realize you guys can't see this right now. Two three four is infestation two, that's not bad. What about three four five? Three four five is synth oil. Five six seven. Oh, four, four, five, six, should I say first? Four, five, six. Four, five, six is Midnight Snack. Five, six, seven is... What is five, six, seven? Five, six, seven is Pascal Candle. Six, seven, eight. Where one of these is really good, I know it, but I can't remember which one it is. Six, seven, eight is C-section. That's the one. That's the one. So, we want to use this once and go... And try and land on six. Can I do pause buffering with this? No, I can't. Okay. Um, This is going to be really hard, actually. So... Damn it. I completely whiffed it. I had to spam it way faster than that. Montezuma's Revenge, though, not a terrible item to get. Not awful, but we uh, we whiffed that a little bit. Okay, now, Gamble of the Century? Maybe. But I'm going to whack this guy once more to go down to a half a heart and have enough to buy Succubus. Damn, that was... I, I tried it. I tried it. But yeah, if you ever get the error slots there... You can get C-section out of it reasonably easily. I'm not going to say it's easy by any means, but it's easier than getting anything else specific. I'll say that at least. Right. Okay, so we've got a pretty good setup for the first floor. We've got some good stuff. Now we just got to try and live until we get some healing here, because otherwise we are going bye-bye relatively quickly. Okay, there you go. We got a half-heart already, and we got a tinted rock. That was a perfect, perfect first room. We're back on top, baby. We're back on top. Yes, I'm loving me some chaos right now. And, ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. With Cyst, how much damage does our Succubus do? Okay. So for the first few seconds of the room, Succubus does more damage, I think. I kind of like to go in there. We'll pop this on occasion as well. Oh, hello, there he goes. Wrecking the entire room for us. Lovely. In here we've got the Delirious Bum. Requires coins. Can summon a charmed monster encounter on the current floor. Or can drop Delirious pickups. Beggar leaves after summoning a random uh, Delirious boss. If killed, drops Delirious pickup. Okay, I don't particularly care about that, unfortunately. No items for me is whatever. This just says pick it up. I don't know what that's doing for us. It, uh... Mandrakes normally scream, right? So let's see if it screams. Oh, fly! That was that was kind of kind of cheeky. What we got going on in our shop here? A regular old shop item, which I'm actually kind of down for, to be honest. Let's see if we can grab that. Ah, oh, really? Okay. Let's see if we can get the rest of the money. I keep I kept petrified poop here so that I can potentially get some more money because shops are pretty valuable for us at the moment here. Another half heart there. We've got a rainbow poop as well if we uh, get the opportunity to utilize that. Our uh, succubus dude is doing a mighty good job right now. I definitely want some more fire rate. Thank God we got a tears up pill right off the bat because this would have been a bit miserable without that, to be honest. Let's pop this again. A lot of big rooms in a row here. I like this one that just summons all the hippity hop guys. Seems to do a very good job of clearing everything out, to be honest. Uh, I kind of want to bomb in there to get the rest of that stuff. We're looking for as many coins as the game will uh, 
feasibly give us. We need to use Monsumus Revenge a little more as well. I'm not really utilizing that right now. Which is a shame, because it's... Yep, there it is. I don't know what that's doing. I don't know if that's valuable to us at all. But, hey ho, it screamed. Right. Back in here we go. Hello, boss man. Beautiful. Okay, that's killing bosses well fast, that is. And we get ourselves this. Of course, we're not going to bother going with um, Devil Deal here, because it's just pointless. Um, spider's no longer tar um, target or deal contact damage. Uh, damage to Isaac's slow immunity. Oh, just slow immunity in general, I see. Right, I'm going to bomb this for the key and the potential of extra money. Thank God I did. That's what I was hoping for. Now, going to my shop... Maybe buy jumper cables, but I'm also going to open up... Ooh, beautiful. I'm also going to open up the um, the two little shop chest things to see if the items that get revealed from those are any better, because they might be. We might get some really good stuff out of that. You never know. Let's take a little look, see what we get. So from here, we get nothing. From here, we get... Whatever the hell this is. It's an active item. Spawns a hog that wanders towards the closest enemy in the room. After five seconds, it explodes with a gigabomb explosion. Ooh. Wow, okay. That's interesting. I think for now we're just going to buy the jumper cables and move on with our life. Um, jumper cables, every 15 kills we get a charge. Means that we can use our book active a little more often. And I quite like this active, so I don't mind that at all. Right. Boss is very much dead. We'll keep on moving down. We should go regular path here and see... What chaos can bring to us. See what it has in store. But yeah, every 15 kills getting an extra charge should mean we can use this book way more actively now, which I really like. Montezuma's Revenge really wasn't a bad thing to get at all, was it? Like, it's pretty decent. But basically what you gotta do is land it on 6 and then spam click for the next 2 to hope you get um, the next 2 numbers instantly. Someone taught me that in the comment section a while back. And I did actually manage to pull it off once. I've only pulled it off once before, but I did manage to actually pull it off. Getting getting a free C section, which is pretty awesome. It's a really cool active. Although it's quality 4. I, I don't know about it being quality 4, to be honest. It's one of those ones where it's like, yeah, it is good, but it's so hard to get a specific item that I don't really know if I'd call it quality 4. Got some extra money there. We have just lost our soul hearts. I need to be wary of the fact... That I've just lost it. Let's pop this in here. It's a good room for it, actually. Although we got the laser boy. The laser boy is by far the worst one, I think. He was a laser boy. Ooh, a booster pack. Hello. Um, right, we got going on here. That's pretty good. That's decent. I'll actually just pop that now for some mapping. Um, takes you to a special death deal room where you must choose one out of two to four deals. Each deal requires you give up one of your items for a new one. Ooh, we got spawn four bombs worth of pickups. Rather nice. And we got inflict all enemies in the room with Midas. Convert some rocks in the room to fool's gold rocks. Okay, let's, let's, let's try and utilize this first. We'll go over here and see if this room's worthy. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> Unfortunately, the fool's gold side of this wasn't very good, but we got some money out of it. It's it's not too bad. I should be able to hold on to the other card. Ten things of money. Do I want to do this Samuel thing? I, I could lose chaos by doing this, so maybe not. Maybe not. Wow. Amazing grab there. Yeah, I just want to hold on to this until we get into a big room later down the line. I think that would be pretty ideal for us. Oh, hello, good sir. How are you? Sail on by. Smack a few enemies. Get out of there. Don't mind if I do. Burn orbitals. I did lose my angel chance just then. Big shame. The relic. Yes, please. This is why shops, you gotta go to them. They can be so damn good on, um, on a chaos run. Because you can just get anything from them. The dice room, I guess if it's a five room, I wouldn't be too upset. So let's uh, let's have a little look-see. It's a four room. 
Rerolls all pedestal items. Okay, kind of a bit late for that there, Chief, but thank you. Little late for that. The smelter. Hmm. I think I'm going to take the smelter. I think I enjoy the smelter more. And then I can re-roll that into something else, right? Using this room here. Let's have a little look-see. Indeed I did. I got the cool shades. Nice. Yeah, our character looks kind of awesome, to be honest, with the shades and the chaos face. That's pretty funny. But yeah, I, I really like Smelter. Just more trinkets drop, being able to smelt them onto your character. I really like that ability. It's really good. So we do got to be aware that we'll always drop three coins at every room. But when, pick, when we pick them up, it'll deal damage to the enemies. And I think something else as well. What trinkets this? Overhealed health gained from heart pickups will be left on the ground for later use. Actually, not a bad idea. That'll take that. Smelt that up. Okay. Boss time. We are ready to go. Unfortunately, no more big bad to just instantly kill things. And I'm pretty sure even with Chaos, these guys will still drop the same active here, which is a little sad considering I don't want it. Flight is nice and stuff, but otherwise I'm not that interested. Yeah, a little annoying that that doesn't get overwritten by um, by Chaos. Would have been nice to see what we got there, but... Hey, Herbert, I think for a Chaos run, Chaos runs are like one sort of like, they can be a blessing or a curse. And I think at the minute they're doing a mighty good job of being really useful. The world, once again, I'll pop that. This is a pretty good world card, actually, because we can get into our boss trap room for free. Yeah, dude, this, this coin thing's pretty awesome. I might use that. We'll see. Um, book items will refund. That doesn't matter. Once per room taking damage at or below um, one and a half hearts activates Book of the Dead. It's decent for when we get round to using that, I guess. We'll take it. Seven seals. Hell yes. Unfortunately, didn't drop the coins in this room, so we don't get the benefit of that. Haha, -ha, luckily our spider items don't deal contact damage to me. It's a shame that the boss still does, though. It'd be very, very powerful if the boss didn't. We managed to slow him, though, which is nice. From our uh, little fella that we got there. Little seven seals doing its job. Hey, And then just in the nick of time here... Mandrake, you scare the hell out of me every time. Uh, just in the nick of time here, we got ourselves a soul heart. So we block taking damage against our angel deal. I like that. And we can come and grab this. We've already got quite a few trinkets. Unfortunately, uh, this won't actually do anything for us because we're going to keep the smelter, obviously. Now, I would like to play the uh, blood donation machine because even though our active right now is good, IV bag with the sunglasses would be pretty darn good. When a devil, when a deal doesn't appear after defeating the four boss, the boss item turns into an angel item for sale or a devil deal. Taking a devil deal item this way. Okay, we don't really want that because we've got chaos, unfortunately. Good, good. Charge that up. I guess I'll just double up that. Should, should have probably left it until the relic had procced for us, but oh well. Another trinket smell. It's so far we are getting a, a mighty large amount of trinket drops, which I'm pretty happy about. Let's go for our shop and see what's lying in wait for us there. Could be something beautiful. Yes, yeah, so if I get enough red hearts, I would like to uh, to play that. Because I'd be tempted by, uh, by IV bag. Ow. Right, relic. Ooh, very, very nice. Pinhead's a great item for us here. And we can buy a soul heart for protection as well. Who you call him, Pinhead? Oh, another soul heart from a poop as well. Petrified poop? You are doing us a service right now. Um, Yeah, Pinhead on uh, occasion will fire piercing shots. And those piercing shots will link enemies together so that they take damage at the same time. It can be really, really good.
You can see that there. Look, two enemies are linked. Now they'll share their damage. While held, pressing the drop trinket button immediately drops this trinket. You don't need to hold the button. When on the ground, the enemies will target the trinket for a short time. Because we're smelting it, that doesn't really help us. Boom. Aww. That sucked. I just did it, like, instinctively because we came into a large room. I should have held off on that. Little bit of a waste there, unfortunately. Little bit of a waste. Item room is going to be Roid Rage. Not bad. Play the hell out of that. It's a lot of blue spiders, baby. It's a lot of blue spiders. Ooh, we left a coin down here. My bad. Got an arcade over there we should probably check out as well. Might be able to get some red hearts back out of that. And play that blood bank a little bit more. That's a cool trinket idea, but yeah. For, for this run right now, it's, it's not ideal. Take you out. Take that for the boss fight, I guess. Dude, the blood banks. There's so many of them this floor. Full health pill. Full health pill. Full health pill. Look up there. It's pretty nice. And a whole lot of not much here. Full health, baby! Um, I'm just going to pop it now. I guess you should play this a little bit, to be honest. Smell that down. Lovely. Yeah, go back to that machine there and get some more money, some more spiders. In fact, it's probably worth clearing out a room first to let our spiders sort of kill some stuff. All of the coins kill some stuff, either way. And then going back and seeing if we can get an IV bag. I, I, I'm still really tempted to keep the smelter, to be honest, but I want to at least try the IV bag out. We got it. Nice one. We've already smelted quite a few things. Basically, if I get into my boss fight here, let's pick up my coins, do some damage with that, one, two, and then I can do this to summon spiders and coins to deal damage. I think that's pretty worthwhile, you know. I think that's pretty worthwhile. I think I'll, I think I'll keep that. Um, and then what we got going on here. Unfortunately, a very good item, but one that is uh, not IV bag right now. I think I'd rather have the IV bag. We just need ways of getting, uh, like, red hearts regularly. But yeah, I, like, we smelted enough trinkets to make me happy with our usage of the smelter. But now, we get our three coins, and if the three coins doesn't kill... Look at that. Beautiful. And obviously now we have, like, a constant income too, which is pretty nice. I think... I think, hold up, if I, can I like go and take a look at my sunglasses here or is it too far down the list? I think it's too far down the list. Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Held passive items. Cool sunglasses. Um. Right. Uh, let's have a look, see. Walking over, walking near coins around to speed up. Collecting coins damages all into the room. Upon entering a room, three cent are taken from you and thrown across the room. I, I was maybe thinking that the damage it deals is based on the amount of coins we have. Because it seems to be a huge amount of damage we're dealing sometimes. But I'm not sure. On occasion, we just deal massive damage with the coins. Piggy bank. Piggy bank IV bag. Yes. Piggy bank IV bag is good. I was wondering if that worked, but it does. Very happy to see that. Deaded. Good old half a soul heart there as well. Half a red heart there as well, even. Like, look at that. One coin. One coin, and it just kills everything in the room. A tool is really good here, as is that item there. 
We'll buy the red hot too. Beautiful stuff. Secret room here, maybe. I actually don't want copper bombs, thank you. <laughs> Not a fan. This is wild. This is so good. Like, we could just walk around rooms and collect coins. And then any rooms that we don't kill them with the initially collected coins. Guess what we do? We summon more coins. We have created a very intriguing build right now. We've seen our shop and our item room, but I am willing to uh, go through some of these other rooms here, considering. Yeah, what a what an interesting setup we've got going right now. Really shouldn't pick up the coins yet. And then I think I think Succubus is really making it like go the extra mile for us here. Also, having the piercing shots with those electricity things around is uh, very, very nice. Hey, one of those is a sticky nickel. We gained money on that. And my coins are trapped there as well. This is evil. Killed everything in the entire room. That's very good. I'll take that too. More trinkets. Slot machines are faster. Spawn three pickups around Isaac on first pickup. I needed those keys. The luck upgrade's nice as well. Um, bombed shopkeepers will drop red hearts and rarely burn hearts instead of coins. That's really good too. Dude, we're getting some good stuff here. We are getting some intriguing stuff. So we do have golden bombs now, so we could spend a bit of time on this floor trying to grab some other stuff. Hand. Get deaded. It's insane how much damage that does. It must be based on the amount of coins you're holding. Because it does a goddamn ton. Do you know what? I have, a, I have a theory here. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to grab this. Basically, we can minus our luck to spawn a golden penny. And in theory, that should, like, absolutely nuke down, like, a late-game boss. So if we can hold on to this, we can use it as an ability to, like, nuke down bosses. Right? Right, so let's do our boss here. We have such a good ability to beat bosses now with this setup. Drop us a red heart, please. Thank you. And the stopwatch as well. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, regular rooms, we don't really need the IV bag. But IV bag plus piggy bank for boss fights is, uh, is really, really nice. We do need some more speed, though. We did just get a speed up through the stopwatch, but being able to get round to the coins faster is going to help us out a lot. Little chest there. <laughs> this is such a crazy build. What the hell? We barely need to shoot. It's awesome. Honestly, ah, oh, we're, we're, we're way past boss rush timer. I thought we were going to make it in time for boss rush, but we're way past it. And on occasion, the coins will spawn, giving us the ability to get consumables from them, which is nice. Extra key for our shoppeth. Yeah, look, we can get like all different types of um, coins spawning through this. It can turn our existing coins into better coins. Unfortunately, batteries aren't really doing much for us at the moment. Relic with another soul heart, though. We got those coming in on the regular. I thought that was secret room. Just a bunch of extra bombs, which we might actually maybe be able to make some use out of. I don't know. <laughs> Every single enemy in the entire room 
died from picking up a single coin. This is absurd. Succubus just makes, like, it basically just finishes off the enemies we don't quite kill. Right, let's open you up. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you, you're all passive anyways. Okay. I forgot about that. No, no more coins to use. Ah, oh, dude. I didn't realize these still dealt damage after the fact that the room was over. I'm pretty sure I've made that exact mistake before, to be honest. We got um, the Angelic Wing. Um, gives flight, but the flight is removed for the first for the floor after three hits. It's pretty good. We'll take that. I do like a bit of flight. Should make it easier to pick up our coins on average as well. Oh, hello. I like this room. Found soul. And we got the vinyl disc thing again, which I still don't really get how this works, but... I guess I'll take Found Soul with me. Oops, something wicked's causing some errors. What item is that? I don't know. Right, where the hell are our coins? Boom, boom, boom. We spawned more coins because it's a larger room, I think. Oh, wait, no. It's spawning six coins now because I've got found soul. <gasps> so does it take six coins away from me? Let's see. It does. Oh, dude. The synergy. Everything's just building towards this. This is awesome. Found soul. Amazing for this setup. Dead. Dead. More money to work with. Okay, this isn't the best for this fight. Probably not going to use my money for this fight here and just go for it. We get double Montezuma's Revenge, though, which is nice. I think my baby just died, though. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Not too bad. Okay. This, this is pod racing. This is a really, really cool build here. I'm really liking this weirdness we've got going on. We've got to make sure to pick up all of our coins, though, is the only thing which takes a bit longer with more coins about. But it's providing us with a significant benefit. Normally, two coins is enough as well. One... And two. Yep, two coins kills everything in the room. And we got the boss straight away here. Big boy. Oh, get wrecked. Ah, oh, my founders all died. No. Our oh, crack crown would be quite nice. How much stats are we getting out of crack crown right now? Not enough fire rate to make me want to take it. That's the only thing I care about right now. Bit of IV bag there. Summoning all the spiders as well. Scatter bombs. I will check the devil deal here just in case. Obviously, I want Cube Baby. Who wouldn't? He's the best. And we stay on full HP. That's definitely not why I took it, but <laughs> we're not going to get another angel deal at this point, are we? Boop, 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 boop. You're all dead. I think I'm actually gaining money out of this, you know. Because I've got... Yeah, so... Because I've got counterfeit penny, it's dropping my pennies on the floor, and a lot of the time, I'm reaching 99 before I've picked all the pennies up. This is... The, the combo that we just have going on right now is, is unprecedented. I can't believe how good Found Soul is with this combo as well. Like, I did not expect this, but it's all come together in a pretty beautiful way. Where the hell's Keybum come from? Keybum? 
who who invited you? <laughs> I honestly don't know where the hell Keybum came from. He's not in my item list. Can anyone roll back the video and find out when the hell we received Keybum and why? Is it something to do with a Mandrake, maybe? Mandrake's certainly doing something. Up we go, baby. Last few floors are going to be a breeze. An absolute breeze. Having the map as well. Treasure map. Treasure map is the first item. It's probably one of my favorite things ever. I'll crack that open. Steam sale, baby! So it doesn't do insane damage to bosses, to regular enemies, man. It hits different. He dead. I'm assuming the boss is going to be over here. Ooh, this is a beefy guy. Not beefy. Enough. Dude, we're getting so many lookups. The Crown of Greed is uh, is going to come in handy for uh, our blue baby fight. Right. Full red heart health as well here. Wow, you survived that? My god, big boy. My god. I thought this would be the boss, and it is. Right, I'm just gonna fight this guy pretty much normally, because I want to save my, uh, my red hearts for bursting down blue baby. Montezuma's revenge there, good, good. Secretion plus Montezuma's Revenge is really good because they charge at about the same rate. Right. Last floor, baby. God damn, these last few floors we've been able to just absolutely scream through. Unfortunately, not the best of the best here. Uh, boss is probably over here. Oh man, <laughs> I saw that coming before it even happened. I knew that was about to be uh, devastating. Wait, actually, where is the boss? This could be in a few different places here, so I might, I might end up getting this wrong. We'll see how we go. Ow. Should stop taking damage though, that would be ideal. Dude, golden hearts as well. Oh man. This is perfect. Get out of here, you invincible prick. Good amount of luck, so we're getting items on the regular. Hey, this was boss. I was right. So, if my theory holds up, Crown of Greed here should be real good. So we grab our regular coins. And we pop Crown of Greed. Oh, it only gave us one golden coin, though. Yeah, it did work, but it could have given us two, and it could have given us a lot more coins than that. In theory, it kind of worked, but not really. It wasn't as effective as I was hoping, I've got to say. Managed to clear out phase one, though, pretty quick. We lost our flight and did our little rays of God there. Mandrake doing its thing again, just screaming to annoy us on occasion. Right, 
Right, get hit, drop a bunch of money, pick up all the money, do a bunch of damage. Yeah, this guy's got too much boss armor for it to really even hit. But, on regular rooms, this was an insanely crazy combo. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.